Well, good day, guys. Our sweetest summer. You know, almost every day. <laughs> so, um, but it keeps on, you know. It really keeps on. Yeah, my uh, symbiotes seems to like it, but uh, even symbiotes got a limit. Yeah. And they actually get to it. <laughs> so uh, just forget about lying on the beach this summer. But uh, well, I bet there are other things to do. A lot of stuff to be done, which I normally never seem to have uh, some spare time to do. So yeah, I'm gonna make a little folder, a new folder with all of my orchids and suitable pictures. And upload to the drive so it's gonna be easier maintenance when I would like to update in case of some flowering you see I uh, <clears throat> I keep cracking my orchids the old-fashioned way so that's, I, I told you guys 1,000 times but I knocked over my hard drive so all of my notes and all of my old pictures almost all of them I might add documents and stuff sustained but uh, pictures seem to have vanished out in the cyberspace yeah under blue so i managed to save a, f a lot of documents with a program a free program called recuva yes here's the folder and um um yeah i'm well on my way i've been shooting pictures on all of the pages yes after having updated it with my notes so what's the point in keeping track this way, if I do it twice, then I need to um, <clears throat> sort out what I did write. It's not my best handwriting, is it? <laughs> so I can barely see what I'm, I've been writing myself. So And in there, find the right orchid, put down the note. Uh, it takes forever. So my idea is to uh, add them to a drive, Google Drive. Yeah. Well, I'm a dinosaur, I know, but well, do it immediately instead of going three steps. <laughs> it's not working, all right. So, that's what I'm engaging in <laughs> whilst we're having these dull days. Loads of rain. Here is Sweden. So, now all the files are transferred from my cell phone to my computer. In a folder called My Orchids. So, handwritten files. <laughs> my intention is to search here. Example, Cattleya. Let's see now. <laughs> all right, here we can find all of my Cattleyas, hybrids or species. Let's start by highlighting all of them. Cut them out. <laughs> no, <laughs> cut them out. And make a new folder here. New folder. And name it Kitleas. Or Kitleya, perhaps. And go in there and paste. And here I got all of the Kitleas. Yes. And for each page, <laughs> I need to have another folder. So I will easily do it by renaming it. Now I know it's confusing, it's in switch, but I. And control Z, it is. I copied the name. And now I would like to have a new folder and name the folder Mishima Spots. Drag the little Mishima Spots into the folder and also add the template. Yes, I'm gonna copy it, get in there again. And for that one, the little template. So, no, I'm going to rename it. I try to rename it by copying its name. Get in there. I can do that when it's time to update the info about the orchid in question. Yeah, Cattleya. Yeah. 
something like that. Doesn't matter, it's all right. So, and try to rename the template. It's gonna take a lot of time, but I think it's gonna be worth it in the long run, all right? And the same goes for, perhaps I'm going to search for dendrobiums. Dendrobiums. And here you can find all of my dendrobiums. Right. Go there, back again. Create a folder. Dendrobium. Get in there and paste. So, uh, you see my point. And now, when I'm done with all this monotone work, I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to upload it to the drive and such. Yes? So, these files are now on the internet, on Google Drive, and I also have access to them through my cell phone. So, when I'm on the run, somewhere else, and I it suddenly dawn on me, uh-oh! My Brassavola nodosa just start to bloom. Uh, today! Ah, better make a little note on when it first started to bloom. Yeah, so I can just open it up in my cell phone. Very easy. And I can also add pictures um, belonging to each and every one of these. And as well as a very first picture. I always, always forget to take a photo of my new orchids when they arrive, yeah, the very same day they arrive, so I can compare later on. Now I, all I can do is take a screenshot of the videos <laughs> when I unbox them. And they, yeah, they don't turn out very sharp, <laughs> really. <laughs> so, but, well, it's quicker, very, uh, much quicker to do it like this, and it doesn't take up very much space. I don't think so. So that's nice, that's my new uh, filing and how I'm going to keep track of my orchids in the future. No more paper from now on. <laughs> no more sheets of paper. It will all be digital. Now let's uh, move over to the orchids I bought, the ones from Curling, and see if I'm going to do anything about them, with them, to them, or not. Yes? So, let's continue with the work. It's almost done. I thought it would take a couple of days. Let us say that I am finished. <laughs> Only these guys, my new purchases, left to be uh, added onto the folder on the Google Drive. So, yeah. So, now I'm going to take a picture of this guy. This one year to flowering size for 12 euro, Harko Glossum Vangii. Do I? <laughs> Species, yes. So, how to remember all of the details on this orchid? Yes. Obviously, it's going to hang in my high humidity cabinet. Yeah, I already put it in there for uh, two days or so. But um, how on earth am I supposed to convince you guys that this one has either developed nicely or crumbled up, <laughs> declined? Next time, I'm going to give you an update on the whole. It will be a quite difficult task for me to show you guys and yeah to convince you guys. So a beautiful little picture comparing with my hand. Yeah, look. And add it into the folder named Hawko Gossam. Yeah. Amongst the text document, which is editable, and this picture next to it. And I rename this picture. Um, the date when it arrived and day one. <laughs> and after that, I hope I'm going to be able to uh, add a couple of blooming pictures of this particular individual orchid. Yeah. But until then, I, I need to upload the picture from the website. I did ask for permission to uh, use the pictures. Anyways, that's how it's going to be done. Very, very easy. As soon as I spot a blooming orchid or some buds opening up and I need to leave my house, I can just uh, take out my cell phone and edit what's happening to the orchid. 
I know, I sound just like a dinosaur, but um, I can assure you I'm not. <laughs> I've actually been working with computers, teaching other people how to manage computers, computer programs, Word, Excel, application, and so on and so forth. But, well, it was a good 20 years ago. So, but I still know my stuff, at least a bit, if I put my mind into it, <clears throat> if I want to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's more like where we'll land here. So, that one is going to go into the cabinet, nowhere else. In which the orchids in here are doing so, so well. They are, yeah, all of them have, I think they're all, almost all of them, except for this one now, have adapted to new conditions and it's uh, most part some kind of, well, various kinds of types of dendrobium orchids in here and a couple of, yeah, Cilogeny. Oranges, look. This is the one I got the last time. I got a couple of orchids this spring. But it's in spike and it's still in spike. The spikes are developing quite a very, very um, <clears throat> slowly. It's doing better with a little bit less humidity than I had before in this cabinet. But as you can see, loads of dendrobiums and stuff. Oh, yeah. well, this one is not going to be a far too chatty one, but well, I feel like chatting today, obviously. This guy is a flowering size, lovely bulb film called Lobby Eye. 18 euro for this smashing, very, very good sized orchid. It's not bad. Well, and a very, very, you can see, normally, Bubba Films has got a quite shallow root system. And yeah, it goes for this case as well. You can see why this heavy, high sized, uh, shall we say, container. Why for a root system this shallow? Look how easily it comes off. Yes. This mixture, yes, it's just about my mixture. Small to medium grade bark, perlite and moss. Okay. Oh. Come, come, come on. Come, come to mama. Say, hey, come to mommy. <laughs> oh. Linus is high. On vacation mood. It's not until almost 11 o'clock this morning. Yeah. <clears throat> we have, or shall we say we had, been watching a new Netflix series <laughs> called From. Uh, it's a very scary series. Loads of monsters and stuff, but I just don't seem to uh, be able to stop watching. So, episode after episode. Uh, until 2 o'clock last night. So, <clears throat> so really getting into vacation mood now. Uh, well, and this plant is really getting into separation mood. <laughs> Look, there are actually two plants in here. But, well, I don't need two plants. So, it's still going to be uh, sticking together. <laughs> but the roots are okay. Not much to cut away, I think. Uh, once I heard that Bubu films are very, very finicky regarding when it comes to the roots being disturbed and such. Well, after all this time growing orchids, I only met up with one finicky Bubu when it comes to, ah, uh, regarding repotting. And that would be the, uh, Medusa. I didn't only have one, I had two. Both of them, well, went the same way. As soon as I tried to repart them or unmount them or whatever, yeah, the roots declined and the whole plants rotted away. In both cases, yes. But I had to do something about them. They had a very, very large scale family <laughs> to the base and amongst the roots, but it didn't help. So, for it, I'm going to use one of my new pots. This, very shallow, 
perfect for these types of orchids. Already prepared the medium, which I'm gonna use for it. And a little bucket. Yes. So let's start with the coconut husk fiber. Oops. Arrives in bricks, which I need to soak for a while and then dry again. Yeah. Takes a bit of an effort, but it's so worth it. So a bit of charcoal. Whole lot of perlite and moss. Very, very small uh, shredded pieces. If you're able. Yes. So, right, this time. All right, and I need to uh, saturate it a bit with some water for easier maintenance. Uh, it's not going to be this dusty. <laughs> like a little cookie dough uh, we can almost form <coughs> round buns with it it's just like baking bread <sighs> anyways that's not what we're going to do down with it a little orchid so let's see too that roots are going down and this, I assume, yeah, it's the newest part. Why do I want to have it? So this one won't be even wider. Well, I need to bend the rhizome. Put it to the middle. And from there, it will have good space to grow on in any direction it pleases. Now at least I know that there are two plants in here, so it's totally fine. And it's quite new as well, large one. And down there you go. I want it to look nice and pretty as well, so uh, it's not easy to have both always, but we need to try. So no bark this time. I said I'm just skip, gonna skip the bark. I do need quite a lot. It needs to uh, press it down a bit. And it's a whole lot easier maintenance now when the medium is wet. Or at least a bit damp. So. Uh, it's alright to bury pseudobobs a bit. They're not so prone to this rodening process, as many other orchid genesis are. Yeah. I think we're good to go already. That's an easy piece of recording, I must say. And I like this little uh, basket, it leaves you with a lot of, a lot of different options. new growth there or maybe a bit more medium underneath the new roots okay now I'm going to show you my bulbo collection very very quickly here you can see the rest of my bulbo film uh collection yes bottom shelf and this Ikea Ikea shelf here yeah. All in the same kind of medium, same type of coconut husk and perlite and moss, charcoal. These guys, Phalaenopsis next to them, I only shifted and switched the uh, coconut husk fiber to bark. That's my favorite concept, if you missed it. <clears throat> if you follow my channel for a bit, I think you know what it's all about, my <clears throat> concept, yes. <laughs> so, a free little good spot for it there, for now. Another one. I need to use all the resources I have. Why not? Seedlings. Yeah, now, we're not going to look at the seedlings, so we're going to continue with the repot or not repot. So, what else do I have? Something I need to take photo of. 
before I do anything else. I, I of course, I forgot it with the bobo. So I did shoot a little picture of it when it was all reported. But better late than never, as we say, as we say here in this country. So now I'm gonna take a photo of it. So that's done. Let's cut it out from this cheap plastic container. I'm going to put a piece of tape to it. Strange. Anyway. Mm. Looks like a very crappy project. To be honest. Yes. But oh, the flowers. Oh, the blooms. And why do you always need to receive a poor plant when you buy a intermedia? Anyways, that's where we are. Here we are. All this moss I'm not keeping. Maybe it worked over there, the nursery. Um, well, <clears throat> maybe it didn't. But um, it's not going to work here. This is great. So, uh, in this case, I I think I think the moss looks quite terrible, and she's in such a good uh, growing stage when it comes to root growth. So, um, I think it's quite safe to do a proper party on her. At least normally bounces back something happens normally that is I cannot take everything no 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 I got a limitation to them as well but they can stand a lot bad stuff before they eventually give in eventually surrender but some cleaning to do and good to put her in something yeah like usual, saturated the clay pots. Yeah, this one is all right in size. Well, the thing with the clay is, uh, it normally bounces back, as I said. But it's all depending on your patience, time, and space. Let me show you a quite doomed project, which I thought was doomed anyways, but it proved otherwise. Yeah. It's in here. It's in here in the jungle. Can you see? Catlea skinnerii albicums. About a six month or even longer. I I will look it up. Yeah. It was twice the size the rhizome and the pseudobulbs were twice as many and twice as long. What did happen to this orchid? Dropped almost all of its leaves. Since it didn't carry any any kind of viable roots and no sign of any new growth coming when I won this at a lottery at a rock society meeting yeah and as I sat there in regular room humidity yeah nothing happened until I decided to okay instead of throwing her away I'm gonna put her into the cabinet and see what happens and this is what happened so patience is a virtue, as I said in my last one of my latest videos. Yes, but uh, she almost hit the bin a couple of times. So, but I'm so glad I didn't. Let's see what to start with. I might as well just use the rest of this medium. Won't hurt. Bit of bark and perlite. The rest is some grow stones. Yeah. I might as well just add a few grow stones as well. Some leftovers from my Paffy Petal mix. But I would like to, not entirely, but as close as mimic the medium she was sitting in before. That would be moss, but I'm not going to grow simply in pure moss. It's not really my favorite, I've noticed. It was for a while, but then I realized. Anyways, look. A great deal 
for this reporting. This first reporting. In the future, I might minimize the uh, the moss a bit. But not this time, alright? I'm going to saturate a bit of it so you see more from seeing this one. Yeah. New growth there, so I'm going to leave uh, the better space in front of it, of course. And why I didn't put this guy into semi hydroponic? I, I think she's too weak for it. It would take far too long for it to develop. In my experience, and that's all I can speak from, isn't it? My own experience. So, not a small pot. They're not too large. I can choose that scenario all by myself, depending how deep down I would like to uh, pot her up or how high up. So I can do just the size of this clay pot myself. Yes. And a bit of eggshells in there. It's not in a way since I have quite soft water. Yeah. Won't be bad for the orchid. So, I think no, well, maybe a little steak to the largest one. But in this case, I could have left it. So, the Intermedia Veration Aquiniae Cerulea Orlada. It's now reported. The day she will actually bloom is going to be a very, very hallelujah moment. Yes. One well, has been soaking as well. well. Let's not forget to shoot a picture of her. Now I have thought of her. Hopefully, her roots will be great uh, yeah, regarding the condition, overall condition of this plant. Look, must be a good, yeah, fair amount of roots in there. So, I'm actually not a big fan of these types of poor pots. Not at all. So, um... I think I soaked her for as long as I did. Uh, yeah. huh, not a single root. Ooh, goodly good. Well, look, what's this? It's a strange stuff in there. Nah, no one. Um, this lot will be impossible to. Or would it? Nah. This is quite a uh, rare plant and it's quite expensive as well. And as it arrived in such a good condition, which I didn't thought it would, but it would be half the size stuff. I, uh, well, the moss is slippery. I, uh, yeah. No, I'm gonna do a total cleanup on her. Total reparting, but I, I think many of the roots will die off. But you see, new stuff is coming. But, uh, there will be. Hmm. A decline period. Yes. I don't think I'm able to uh, tag a little up, but I'm gonna I'm gonna wash her off now. So. Uh. I'll leave a little bit. Uh, fortunately, I will. <clears throat> well, this orchid has got a fairly long rhizome. You can see? It 
just like a ball ball, just to part it. Hmm. But I can do is choose to do as I did at nursery. Put her like this, bend the rice on like this. And we'll leave her up there. That's not a good idea. And I can do go this way, the other direction. And that will leave us a little bit more low down with this growth. So that's what's going to happen to this orchid. Yes, and I'm going to try to peel off this um, little sheath as well. I'm going to use the very same kind of medium. But this time I'm going to add on a little bit of coconut husk fiber. Some pieces of bark, chunky ones. A huge piece of uh, charcoal. Making the pot a bit smaller and for drainage and stuff. All right. Uh, twist her without her being separated from the mother plant. Yes, 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 yes. Careful with the new growth. Yeah. This one will hold the moisture better. And simply a clay pot with my moss mixture can. So let's see what she does and how she does. She likes to be kept moist. You can see how plump and lovely her leaves are. And I wouldn't want to take that away from her. It would be foolish of me. Yes. And of course, I want to stake this huge one a little bit. I always choose the largest suitable to create some stability to it all. No way. Or just add on a stick to the middle part. This also can also be helpful. Just a bit of stability. That's its only purpose right now. That one can stand for itself. <laughs> Right, um, Brassocatlea hermososa Mickey Mouse. Hmm. I think she needs good light. If she's got no dose in her, which I'm certain she's, she has, she needs some good light. And as you all know, good light, according to the nurseries and the care sheets, equals more than good light. Yeah. Just a little disclaimer. So, I didn't forget the photo. Well, this is a replacement plant for one I lost two years ago. I lost, well, yeah, I did lose it in a way. Then Catleonti, RTH, yes. Chief Sweet Orange, Sweet Orange. These are the types of colors, the color combinations I prefer. Red or yellow. <laughs> Red and orange and yellow. I see my point. I can just... Yeah, <clears throat> didn't need to cut in. <laughs> Simple as that. <clears throat> Alright, now you can see what would happen if I decide to tangle it all up. Yes. Of course, she's got two new growths coming. But she's got a couple of bad roots up there, so... I'm gonna cut them off. She's been used to be sitting in a quite damp medium, but well, we shall see. My old one really, let's see now. Nah, it's not the best of roots, is it? Not the very best of root system, is it? In a way, there will be a new root system coming before long uh, from these two guys. These oldest growth have already produced a new set of roots here, so hmm, what can we do? I would like to keep her in semi hydro. 
That's what I would like to do. Oftentimes I I kept the old medium if it looks like this. Yes. All the new roots there, no new ones coming. So uh, and I can clean her off next time she's in good growth, root wise, instead clean her off from semi hydro. And put her back into semi hydro. Yes. See what I mean? So I'm just gonna scratch off as much loose um, spag I can see and I can find here. And just, uh, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to put an effort into it. Certainly ain't. There's a lot of this stuff. Algae. And all. So she's used to sitting in a very, very water retentive medium. She is. But not a fluffy one. Which semi hydro with lecker growing will offer some airiness. Which this lot isn't. So. Right. That's obviously dead. I'm, I'm gonna cut off here. There's all of the longest roots. I will hit the water reservoir. Aren't gonna make it. These old roots, they're doomed. And no matter what kind of medium you switch into. So, uh, why not just cut them off in advance before they start rotting there? Yeah. That's all right. Nah, I'm not going to fuss about with her anymore, any further. This is how it's going to be, for now, for now, until next year, when I do a proper clean-up on her. All of this lot shall be removed. Now, cut off all of the old roots and leave only the new great root system, which will appear. So let's cut ourselves a good little wick from this microfiber clock duke in Swedish. Yes. Not a little. Quite a long one. With preferably a sharp scissors than I have. Got front of me for the moment. That works. It's all right. The back one. Like this. Whole star, which I made the sewing pen. Looks like this. Quite easy maintenance here. Let's heat it up and yeah, we'll be fine. We can make holes very easily. So. Next year, she will need to upgrade the pot in size anyways. So, here I have some already used lecker beads. I'm going to add a couple to the bottom. And a bit of yeah, charcoal. So, this one won't meet up with the water reservoir immediately. It will be far too wet, constantly moist, I shall say. Wet. <laughs> Sorry, that's not my intention. The water reservoir will be underneath. The orchid itself will be on top of the lecker bead layer, which lies in and totally fills up the reservoir. So uh, you see my point? It'd be better for her to start this. I would like to get her new roots from these two new growth down there, not on the outside. Yes.
firm grip. And see too that the liquor beads are evenly, evenly distributed. Yes, and that. And you see here, all that remains is the gravel, the heaviest pieces, would be stones, rocks, yes, wouldn't it? So they land to the bottom. They will keep the upper layer even more moist than it would have been with only lecker beads. So, yes. Looking great, and we're all set. Get set, go! And we do need to spray her with my orange oil, especially the new growth there, to prevent them from any kind of thrips feasting on them. Yes. Now, when they're so so tiny and fragile as they are, an easy target for pests such as thrips and spider mites. Yes. Stake one of the latest, largest pseudobobs up. One or two. Yeah, maybe two. In this case, for stability. And I've heard that she likes a good amount of light. So that's what I'm going to give her. Yeah, I saved a little space for her. After I was rearranging my setup a bit for Rocket Players. Now I got better space. And some free space for her. When she arrived. Yeah. One step ahead. Always. Just need to see. Hmm. Yeah, I'll be there anyways. Okay. She's gonna be wider and more plump before long, so I wouldn't want to tie these uh, cable ties tighter. Alright, that will be the video guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And perhaps got some valuable information with you or Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> and if yeah, you want to share something with me or ask a few questions about anything, doesn't matter. About the weather, about what, the clothes I'm wearing. No, uh, doesn't matter. It's just fun. Let's talk a little bit aside from the subject. Orchids once in a while as well. A little bit out of the box, so to speak. All right. Give it a thumbs up if you like it, and perhaps subscribe, and you guys, we shall talk soon. Bye-bye, take care. Hugs!